Joining me now is Seton Motley, my special guest tonight for our de default day countdown. Seton Motley, president of Less Government. Seton, so much. Thank you so much for joining Good us. Good to see tonight. you, man. Really appreciate it. Now, you're heading up uh, the cut, cap, and balance. Well, I'm not heading it up. I don't you're, want to take credit for it, but I'm, I'm, I'm in enough. it. Yes. Excuse me. Okay, now the cut, cap, and balance plan put forth by Speaker Boehner that no, passed the wait, House. Yes, exactly. Well, it, it yes. Put, was put forth as legislation. Man, you're gonna make, you're gonna, I steal one joke from you in the middle of my previous monologue, <laughs> and you're going to, at the last second, you're going to try to make me look bad here. Okay, so cut, cap, and balance. You would put it as the least bad option. Why is that? Well, my ultimate objective would be to not raise the debt ceiling. There are a lot of freshmen there were nine freshman Republicans who, or nine Republicans who voted no on cut, cap, and balance because they'd either a campaigned to not raise the debt ceiling at all. There were some freshmen in that mold, and there were some like that, that said it didn't go far enough in, as far as reining in capping spending. But the reason I got in was because long term it was the only solution. It cut spending, it capped it. It gradually, not, again, not fast enough for me, down to 20 percent, should have been 18 and it should have been faster. Um, and then it had a balanced budget amendment, which, which, made, which made the government balance the budget with a two-thirds majority. Right, that's pretty huge. People all kind of forget that. Yeah. When they say cut, cap, and balance, cut, cap, and balance, it's the really balance the budget. It has the, the balanced budget amendment. And it has, the which, contained, which contained a two-thirds supermajority to raise taxes. So normally with a balanced budget amendment, that was a built-in thing to raise taxes. Oh, we got to balance the budget, let's raise taxes. But with the two-thirds supermajority, it was a lot easier legislatively to cut spending than it was to, create, to, to raise taxes. So that's why I got in, because of, uh, you know, in the, in the land of uh, the blind, the one-eyed man is king. And, and cut, cap, and balance, in my estimation, so any, was any the one-eyed man. So any reasonable move forward in a more fiscally conservative direction? That was the most conservative by far, especially when you stand, stand next to the Boehner plan and the Reid plan being discussed currently. Okay, so you also wanted to point out that there is a specific benefit to this compromise. Not that you're saying it's better overall, but that we get to keep our AAA credit Oh, this rating. is the only... The, why, why do you want us to be able to keep bar... What, us? Why do you want the feds to be able to keep bar... No, I want us to that? keep our bond rating. That's different. Okay. The AAA bond rating... Remember, the government and the private sector all borrow money out of the same pool. So if the, if the credit rating goes down, it affects us equally, to, equally as badly as it affects the government. I don't want to raise the debt ceiling, but under the certain the delineated circumstances of cut, cap, and balance, I'll raise the debt ceiling begrudgingly. But it, the cut, cap, and balance keeps our AAA bond rating. Boehner plan, they've already come out and said, we're probably going to lower you even if that passes. The Reed plan, probably going to lower us down to AA from AAA. If, the, if that passes. What they're looking at, they're not looking at us. It doesn't make any sense when they, the left says we need to raise our debt ceiling limit to improve with our, our image with the creditors. The creditors don't want to see us borrow more money. They want us to be serious about stop spending They want money. the government to get permission from the, to tax the people more in the future no, 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 no. to pay them off well, there's, there's, when that comes there's through. There's some right? of that, okay. but what they want to see is a more reasonable spending level. If, if the reason they like cut, cap, and balance, and then we'll maintain our AAA rating, is because it does cap spending. Okay. Well, and they want to see us spend within our means so that we don't continue to borrow money. You know, I'm, I'm, I'm really not, I'm, I'm still not convinced. I mean, I'm not, I'm, more importantly, though, between not doing anything and, and letting the president go, crap, I'm going to pay the, I'm going to pay Social Security, Medicare, Medicaid, I'm going to pay the service of right. the debt, and I'm going to take a, the other 300 billion and, and there's a bill there's to, a, versus, like, I, I'm just not convinced to care. i got to be honest. No, no, and, and, and listen, ultimately, look, th this is why I want to go past August 3rd. There's a bill that was just floated today. I suggest we float it weeks ago, but they floated today called the Full Faith and Credit Act. And what it does is it lays out what the president has to spend money on if we get past the August 3rd date. Creditors, so, I know, but wait. I, I think the less that I care, the more I can enjoy people in Washington spazzing. Yes. yes, and that we can both enjoy together. Good Steve, to see you, man. Thanks so much for joining Thanks us. Thanks a lot.